TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. We've got the Dow trading up 37 points. That's one-tenth of a percent for the upside. The S&P is up six, uh, slightly more than that. Uh, Percentage-wise, NASDAQ is up, NASDAQ 100, that is up a half a percent or 73 points. The Russell's off a little more than 1%, 27 points. The downside semis are down 30. Four trannies are up off five bucks. The trannies put in a nice uh, bottoming signal. I think it was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, oh, good, we've got my... Uh, indice charts are trying to populate what the Sam heck happened there missing one in any event let's go take a look at those give me a moment here to switch screens and we'll go take a look at what the indices are communicating to us and if you take a look at this it's missing one of the panels uh, let's start in the lower right because the last question I took during my show was about um, one of the mining stocks out there. Geez, I forget which one it was that we were looking at. But here, if you take a look at the XAU, it did generate a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom panel yesterday, and that was confirmed with that bullish engulfing candle. And as long as price stays above its red oscillator and change line, currently that is printing at 136.73. That'll generate a bullish message. Spot volatility. We're going from bottom a row out here. Is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. If it remains below that, that becomes bullish for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the chart for the S&P 500, price is running right at resistance. That's its oscillator and change line. It's literally priced as it's priced at 43.65. We're trading at 43.65. So in essence, we've got the S&P at resistance. The spot volatility is at support. I don't know who's going to win that battle the dow jones transportation index i mentioned this yesterday or two days ago i should say formed a nice rose mintum indicator bottom is going to be day number two above its oscillator and change line that is 1459 that suggests running back at least to its prior highs in the 15 100 level that would be the minimum price target the dow itself it's trading above the oscillator and change line should go target the 35093 area once again the NDX 100 sitting here at a resistance level. That is its oscillator and change line. That's 14,920. We're at 14,914 out here. The semis not really providing us with a clear signal as we speak at the moment. But if price does close the day above 3263, that is suggesting that it too wants to continue to move higher. Folks, stay tuned. David White, your favorite polar bear, he's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow for the Trader's Edge Show starting at 1 o'clock on fabulous, fantastic Friday. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. The reality is that.